Red button is higher than you guys can see. Live officially. I wait for people to show up per usual. I kind of want to. It feels weird. My bun's very high. I'm just gonna wait for people. It's 6.02, I'm a little late. She's like gigantic. Better than having my hair down because it's already frizzy even though I just washed it, which is great. Hello, one person that's here. Maybe you got the notification, maybe you didn't. Let me fix my screen before I start. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna start at like the two minute mark. This is my receipt. Yes, I have my receipt from last week. The people who are here are quiet, so it's been even a longer pause. I appreciate you coming though, I do. I'm just waiting, it's so awkward. I'm probably gonna go ahead and start here in a second because it's gonna be two minutes and it's 6.03. So I do have my receipt, so I can tell you guys how much I got. Maybe it finally start sent out a notification. Hi you guys, because YouTube hates me per usual. She takes a little second. I just woke up from a nap because I've been up since six and I just like woke up and started working and then crashed. <laughs> but I'm up and I'm here now, so I had to wake up to take my packages. Hello everybody. I'm going to go ahead and start here in a second. We're losing pieces of hair. I just washed my hair and it's just like, it's just, I just have too much of it. It doesn't last anymore, it's irritating. See Jojo, we are at the same, the same level. Hi Danielle, Erica, Kim, Melody, Ashton, Liza and Heather. Thank you guys for joining me. I just woke up, it's 6.05, um, I've been up since six and I kind of crashed. I listed, I got 54 items, 54 items for $73.15 and I listed 20 of these this morning. So I knocked out a decent amount of it already. Um, and then I just have the rest of the week to list it. I don't know. I kind of want to go to one place this week in thrift, but I usually just go to the same store. But we'll see. I'm going to end up paying up if I go to that store, so I don't know. But hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I'm going to go ahead and start now. Um, my 54 items, like I said, I have pants, dresses, I have a top like one top <laughs> and I listed 20 of these already so I'll show you guys what I listed already and like I don't know any details or information I found on the shit while I was doing it hi posh with pets so this is the first item these are j crew and when I seen these I thought they were like super old but these are like a 2017 here goes the tag but I thought the tag was like dumb old um, I paid 80 cents for these and I listed them for $25 and they're just like, um, and they're they're I thought they were pre faded, but the stock photo is like the same color is like what these look like. Um, 
<laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Hi, Christina. Um, so they're not pre-faded I guess they just uh, they are pre-faded that's what I meant to say um but I thought they weren't pre-faded but they're like a pink red color they're size 28 and I listed those for 25 I should probably fold these back up because I listed these already and then I can just process them and then have that taken care of I'm salty because I paid up for these. Usually I only pay 80 cents for American Eagle and I paid $4 for these because they were like blue jeans and I'm like, oh, like the American Eagle blue jeans sell for more than I usually just get like, I guess, colored jeans. Um, but they're flawed, which is irritating and I paid four bucks for them. They already have a like, so I mean, they'll sell eventually. But the button, she's like tore up. I don't know if you guys can see buttons tore up and then there's some wear at the crotch like at the seam there's like some wear she's starting to buckle under stress um but these are a size four they're a jegging and they're cute they have like a distressed knee raw hem you know but flawed i think i still listed them for 25 or 22 i'm not sure um, next pair of pants I got, they're seven for all mankind. My lamp is washing me out again. They're seven for all mankind, which is a good brand, but the pants are really ugly. So we'll see what happens. They were 80 cents there. I found a stock photo. They're called the crop denim stretch flare. And they're this like olive color. This is green brown, but they're like a crop flare. I don't, I mean, I could iron this and get it to stay down, but I don't have the time. Just send me a lower offer. But I got it for 80 cents, and we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to put them on auction. On auction? Why did I just say it like that? On auction, when I um, cross-list them, I might on auction for $4.99 and see how much they weigh. They, they probably weigh over a pound. I might put those on auction, but was, mm, they're ugly, so. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Adrian. Yeah, I'll probably put those on. <laughs> I'm like, keep looking at them. Like, yeah, those are ugly. Um, Yeah, probably going to put those on auction. I'll probably put those American Eagle jeans on auction, too, when I cross-list them, just because they are flawed. And then I got these J. Jill pants. They're size 6, 80 cents. And they're a cuffed straight leg, you know. She's a nice little little casual slack. Um, oh, I just hit my desk. The cheapest jeans on my thrift are $5.99. Ooh, see, I hate thrift stores like that. Like the thrift store I go to, thankfully, uh, they know people are cheap. So things go to like dollar day. And then I have a student discount. So then I get 20% off everything, which is a blessing. Um, which is why things are 80 cents. But yeah, that sucks, dude. I don't I don't even go to our Goodwills anymore because it's just ridiculous. And I feel like at the Goodwills, I'm really sifting through trash. Like, I'll be like, let me see how long. Well, no, because I, I did stop somewhere afterwards. But it only takes me like an hour, hour and a half to source anywhere from 30 to like 80 items at my thrift store. If I go to Goodwill and spend an hour and a half in there, I'm going to leave with like four items. It's like trash. It's straight trash at the Goodwill. Uh, this is 41 Hawthorne. New with tags. You guys can see this kind of. Retail is $88. It doesn't have the retail price on here, but I found a picture on Pinterest. So I think I listed it for 35, but it's called the Gloria Collarless Open Front Blazer. It's a light purple lilac. And it's a size small. Um, I think I paid four bucks for this. Yeah, I think I did pay up for that, but I'm not mad at that. It's a new tag blazer and she'll sell. Yeah, that sucks. If you ever come to Ohio, specifically like Akron Cleveland, let me know and I'll point you to the best thrift store. Um, I got this scarf and I got another scarf. Where's the other one at? 
I was like at the end of the dress rack and the scarves are above all the dresses. And I was like, why not? You know, let's see if there's any like brands or new at tags. So this is old Navy new at tags scarf. Why not? 80 cents. I think I listed it for 20 or 18. Um, I don't know where that other scarf is, but I hope I didn't leave it in there. But it's a J. Crew scarf. I got this. It already got a like on it, so I guess it wasn't a bad decision. This is vintage Talbot. That giant T tag. Uh, mock neck short sleeve. Like purple and black long maxi sweater dress. And it has a little slit at the bottom. I listed this for 30 and it got a like already. So I guess it was good. I picked it up. I paid 80 cents for it. It's a size medium. It's really heavy. I mean, it's not that heavy, but it's definitely over a pound. Um, I got this H&M blazer. Navy blue, button front, pleated bottom. It has a belt. And I listed this for 25 or 30. I think 25. It's new with tags. Originally $60, size 12. Either 25 or 30. One of the two. I think this got a like already too. Oh, here goes the other scarf. This is a little J. Crew scarf. It's lamb's wool and angora rabbit. 80 cents. I think I listed it for 20. I think I've sold like two scarves before and I have three listed. Um, my Pendleton scarf has a lot of likes, but it hasn't sold. So I got this express dress and I've sold this before in a different color. It's this little choker neck, long sleeve skater dress. Um, I sold this in green for, it was like $18 with free shipping on Mercari. Um, and I got this for 80 cents. I listed it for 25. I got this cause I thought it was cute. It's Isaac Mizrahi for Target, which is like dumb old, but I still thought it was cute. It was 80 cents and it's gray, button front coat, and it has this green pattern. You guys can't see it because my light has this green pattern right here. It's on the cuffs, um, like this lining part, and it has a belt, and it's on the belt. Um, I think I listed this for 28. I was surprised I actually listed 20 items already today. I woke up and I was like, let me go ahead and get this over with and just started taking photos. Um, what's next? What's next? Excuse me. This J. Crew dress, new at tags. It's J. Crew Factory, but it retailed for 138. And it's a size 8, and it's a blue and white tweed sleeveless sheath dress um really cute i think i listed that for 50 paid four dollars for it i think some shit like that parker dress parker's really 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 expensive resells i mean it's not that expensive <laughs> it's, it's no over a thousand dollars but their dresses retail for like over two hundred dollars this is a size small. I have two listed right now. Well, this is my third Parker dress listed. And they're all listed for over 40. And they all have likes. But resale is like all over the place. But it's a really cute dress. Oh, I wish. If I lived near you, I definitely would. <laughs> it's a really cute dress. It's embroidered. Black. Gray cute and I'm like looking at it in the store and even when I was listing it like expecting to find like a bunch of threads missing but nope and my thrift store had this price to $25 and it got repriced because nobody paid that um to 
eight dollars so i paid eight dollars with 20 percent off which is a good deal and i listed that for 75 i got this jacks dress and i guess jacks has jacks and then jacks black label which is sold at nordstrom um i'm not sure how much regular jacks retails for but the dress is nice and i was looking at resale and resale is typically over 30 so i think i listed this for 40 but it's a size six and I just thought my packages just started tracking. I'm like, why is my phone going off? It's a really nice um, dress. It's like this floral lace, black and white. It has this satin trim. And yeah, it just reminds me like a White House black market or something like that. Hi, Jen. Happy Monday to you as well. I keep seeing these Poshmark notifications, thinking somebody sent me an offer or something. Oh, I have a leaning pile right here. Okay, please don't fall. Um, this dress probably shouldn't have bought. Mm. Uh, so there's a hole at the bottom, which is like so random. And then the inside has some pilling. I did sweater shave it, but it's because of the fabric. It's Ann Taylor Outlet, size 8. It was only 80 cents, but still. I'll still make money on it, but I just, you know, it has a hole in it. Basic A-line dress. I think I listed this for 22 instead of 25 because it's flawed. Um, oh, I got this Gap dress, and I didn't know Gap dresses get as high as, like, $60, $70 retail. Um, the dresses they have on their website right now that are similar to this retail for, like, $60, $70. So I think I listed this for 30. Um, it's extra small. Blue and white striped long sleeve. Um, I thought it was completely a button down. It's not. I found that out when I was like looking at stock photos. I'm like, what's different? And I'm like, oh, bitch, it's not a completely full button down dress. Um, so I don't know, like a popover dress, but it's belted. And the belt is, like, dumb long. Like, what is the point of this? Please. Please make it make sense. So, when I took a photo, I, like, wrapped it around twice. I'm not sure if that's the point. But the belt is dumb long. But I got it for 80 cents. And I actually don't mind picking up Gap. It sells pretty decent for me. I have my black charger plugged up over here in an extension outlet. And it's like a cream carpet with a cream extension cord with a black charger box. And I keep thinking there's something on my carpet. And it's freaking me the fuck out. But I'm not going to get up and move it. Because I really do not match. You do not want to see. I have a little roll legging. So you can only imagine what they look like um, in the combination of clothing I'm currently wearing. I had to change my shirt because I was on camera. Because I had on what I wore to sleep last night. You should send me a picture of your boyfriend in a non-weird way, just so I know what he looks like. <laughs> because I'm interested. Um, I have, yeah, I don't think I've sold any Gap jeans. I sold those Gap velvet zip side ankle crop pants for $25 flat out. The lady left me a really nice review. She said they were like new and I paid 80 cents for those and those sold like pretty quick, but I will pick up Gap. This is free people and it must be older free people because I couldn't find any uh, type of photo for it. Orange print. It has this detail in the back. Um, it's a size medium. I paid, I think, $4 for this. I don't find free people a lot, and I know resale is kind of shit on it, but it's still just nice to have in my closet. I got this dress, super cute. Uh, I paid 8 bucks for it. It's a size 24, which is a 2X Lane Bryant. And it retails for, well, oh, I thought I almost tore the tag off. I have a tag gun now because I do that shit too much, but I just don't want to deal with that. Anyways, Lane Bryant, size 24, retails for 80. I paid eight bucks for it and I think I listed it for 50. And it's a scuba knit. 
rose print short sleeve dress. I found a stock photo, but it's not the best stock photo. So I have it next to the actual photo I took. Um, but she's cute. I always need plus size. Oh, no, I couldn't come on camera in that, that shirt. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Some things are acceptable and some things are not. What medium dress? The Gap one? Let me know. I'll give you the hookup. Uh, this is City Chic and uh, which one? The Gap one? Um, I didn't know City Chic like retailed for so much money, but it's a size 20. Oh, you're probably talking about the 24. I don't know why I'm thinking about the Gap dress. I'm probably talking about the last dress I'm, I sent. People send me friend requests. Um, it's like a, like a square neck, square neck. Yeah. I list this for 30. I found a stock photo, but it's a black stock photo. So I just put red in all caps. Um, but it's like a zip front, eyelash, lace, sleeve, little basic blouse. Um, like I said, I didn't realize City Chic retailed for like a decent amount of money. Uh, what else did I list today? I listed this. This is Banana Republic. I paid four bucks for this. It's a size four. It's a blue sleeveless. Nice little A-line dress. Cute. Real cute. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of pissing me off. You see that? It looks like somebody like grabbed it too hard or like a hanger mark, but it's not a, like, it's not a flaw, you know? But it's just, it's weird how the fabric is laying. Um, but she's a really cute dress. Low key hold back. Four dollars. No attacks. Can't leave her behind. Um. Oh, thank you, Thrift Gal. Yeah, I will like buy almost anything that is 80 cents. If I think I can make money on it. Uh, I buy the most random shit, man. Like, what is this? Not even just, I mean, I've been trying to, like, branch out more. Like, I've never bought, like, I've maybe, since I've been reselling since October 2017, I've probably sold, like, four pairs of shorts. Um, and I was, like, looking at the shorts when I was at the thrift store. I'm trying, I didn't find any, but I'm trying to, like... I don't know, just like have more shit, you know, I, I had so many dresses for a long time and now I have a lot of pants. I was thinking about making a YouTube video. Do not get your hopes up at all. <laughs> um, but, um, I was going to do a video about like, like how many pants I've bought and like, if it's been a good investment so far, because I have, I think I have over a hundred pairs of pants and I started buying pants in November. So it's a pretty high number. Um, oh, so that dress, like, so they have a dollar tag. Um, but some items that aren't the dollar color, if I don't think they're going to be there next week, and if I think it's a good investment, I'll buy it. I could have waited until next week for that to be a dollar because that was half off. Um, but it's new with Tags Banana Republic. That probably would have got bought that day if I hadn't have got it. I got there right when they opened, and I was the first person in the dress aisle, period. So, first dibs, and you know, throwing that shit in my cart. <laughs> but this is, I, I have another, a whole nother bag. This is Jessica Simpson, extra small. It's like a pink, um, it's got like an open sleeve dress mini dress and it has this belt that has this um fringe detail and none of the fringe is like that's one thing always check if you buy anything with fringe if it's like falling apart or like split open or just like ratty um i have not listed this yet though so everything i showed you guys before this is listed and then now i'm about to show you guys things that are not listed those will probably get listed $25, $30, something like that. Jessica Simpson can get up there in price too. Um, I got this because it was new at Tags. 
It's Kenneth Cole. It's a 14 petite. Uh, does it have a retail price? It doesn't have a retail price. But it is a black, like, little cropped blazer. This would be not, like, a nice dress blazer. Um, you know. I'm like, a funeral. Uh, oh, here goes the tag. She came from Lowman's. Uh, she was 55 doll hairs. So I will take that. I paid 80 cents. And she was 55 on sale. Little cropped black satin blazer. Probably sell on eBay. I got this dress for myself. And they had another really cute Zara top. But I'm like, I don't want to pay $8 for that shirt. So hopefully it's here next week. I paid $8 for this. Um, haven't tried it on. And realistically, even if it does fit me, that doesn't mean I'm going to keep it just because it's like, where am I going? Am I realistically going to wear it? But it's a long sleeve floral uh, button front. Yeah, it's completely buttoned down. Button front, collared, cute little dress. And it's a extra large. So I'm a 1X. So I don't even know if this is going to fit me. Probably not. But I paid $8 for this because I was thinking about myself. Um, and I'll still make a profit on it. <sighs> Do I pick up a lot of Lane Bryant? Um, mm, mm, I'm about to like look at my... like Even if something sells on Mercari or eBay, I just mark it as sold. Um, or like is not for sale in my Poshmark store. That way, if I ever do want to reference it, I can go in my Poshmark store and it's still there. And then I change it to whatever it sold for. I have one, two, three, four, five Lane Bryant items for sale. I've sold a blazer for 18, a skirt for 10, a skirt for 15, a skirt for nine, a dress for 27, a sweater for 19, a blazer for 25, a shirt for 10, a shirt for 10, a skirt for 22, a blazer for 15, a top for 15, a blazer for 35, and a bunch more shit. So resales all over the place. But I I mean, my average cost of goods is around 250. Um so to me, it just it just depends on, you know, like how much does it cost, really? Like that Lane Bryant dress is new with tags. I figured eight dollars to have a new with tags 2x dress in my closet. That's not, you know. That's not a steep price to pay because it's like I always need plus size stuff. What is – I already showed you guys this. Why do I have this in my hand? Um, Some more pants. I didn't – I mean, I should have realized I got more pants. Yeah, I, I'm Yeah, I'm thinking back. I did get quite a few pants, but I've only listed four of them so far. Um, Right, it's hard to pass up anything for a dollar. Honestly, um, yes, I do have a Dymo printer. I was gifted it, and the lady's so sweet. I cannot remember her um username, but I've had it almost two years, I think, and it's my baby. Um, this is not your daughter's jeans. I sold a pair of corduroys for $25 on eBay. So, you know, like when something does good for me, it's just like it sticks out every time I see it. So I keep buying these. Uh, there are two petite black straight leg, 80 cents. Uh, their jeans retail like around 90, like 90 to like 130. So not a bad buy. These are Talbot size 10, probably sell around 15. Straight leg, black slack. Uh, these are Gap jeans. Trying to get more because I have so many corduroys. So I'm trying to get, I have so many corduroys and so many like business pants, like slacks, you know, a nice trouser. Um, so I'm trying to get more like actual jeans. So these are a gray jean, Gap, some distressing. Uh, these are 26. Yeah, I would just really, uh, 
<laughs> take you a year to photo list all of that. I've it it's actually like last week I got I listed all of those items already. I got 74 items. I don't know. I've been taking my iron pill and energy has been up. Would you imagine that? What happens when you listen to your doctor? Um I'm trying to let me put some of this shit back in this bag. That way it'll be ready to go back in that room when I'm done. I've also been like, like if I take photos, like I took those, I took 20 photos this morning. Let's see how long it took me to do those. Photographing. 41 minutes. So it took me 41 minutes to photograph 20 items. And then when I was watching TV, I edited them, which is like, making them brighter um I have a window near my photo setup and that's in a lot of my photos so I have to edit that out um and then while I was watching tv I sat there and drafted a bunch of them just like putting all the photos in putting the categories in writing out the title putting in like the information that's in all of my listings already it just makes things go like way quicker let me move this back over here Okay, I have no idea what's in this bag, but this is the second one, and it is completely full. <sighs> Very heavy. I brought myself a snack, and I didn't get to eat it before I started, and I'm just, like, staring at it. It's so beautiful. That's my treat for when I'm done. I hate that I always roll on this carpet and then it ends up like all messed up. Okay, second bag. I got some items put on auction. They go for like $4.99 plus $4.99 shipping. Uh, this is American Eagle. And sometimes they'll sell on auction and sometimes they'll sell like before they... Uh, and I might put this higher, honestly, because it's like... Sometimes it's like the $4.99... Like, oh, is it really worth it? Oh, not really. Even though it's, like, driving traffic and shit to my store. But it's just, like, bitch, $4.99. That's, come on now. But I have so many items on auction for, like, $9.99 and they won't sell. So then it's, like, might as well put them for $4.99. But we'll see. I'll start raising them. I'll do this for $9.99 plus $4.99 shipping and see what happens. And then it's a American Eagle romper. So this will get listed for like 22. Um, this is Banana Republic, size zero petite. Cute little dress. There goes the print. This is blue or black. I can't really tell in this lighting. But cute. Probably get listed 25 to 30. I think this is another, yeah, American Eagle. And it's like a, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like off the shoulder or mm, it's a large, I don't know. No, okay, it has straps right here. So it does have straps, so it's a cold shoulder. Cute, little multicolor dress. Yeah, it's not a romper. I got a maternity dress. I've never... Resold maternity. It's a size small though. And it's um a pee in the pod. So we'll see. Maybe it'll sell super fast. I don't know. I've never sold maternity. But it's blue and white print. I got it for 80 cents. And then it has this little detail at the bottom. It's a good little spring summer dress. Blazer. This is Michael Michael Kors, size six. This is an older Michael Michael Kors tag. It's like a like cream and brown, but it's still a black and white houndstooth plaid blazer. So she was still coming home with me. What is this? Uh, Aber Abercrombie and Fitch. 
extra small. This is something that will get listed like $22 and then go on auction as well. But cute little floral dress. Those brands get more attention on Mercari than anything. I got this because it was new with tags XOXO, which is like a Junior Z brand. Blue stretch. I think it was, no, this doesn't have the retail price. But I think these blazers retail for like 50, something like that. Lauren Ralph Lauren, and I got this uh, for 80 cents. And I'm really happy about that because I know it's just sold for a good amount of money. No, you know what? No. Is that the, I think this has a flaw. No, that's my other one that I got. The one I got last week, I paid seven bucks for. And the cuffs, each cuff has four buttons, but on one of the cuffs, it's missing two of the buttons. And it's just like, dang. But I put in my description, like, you could just remove the other two buttons from the other cuff and problem solved. Um, but this is, I think it's woolly cashmere. Oh, she's 100% camel hair. So I'm still thinking about my other blazer. 100% camel hair, 80 cent Lauren Ralph Warren blazer. Uh, I'll probably list this as 75 because I'm greedy. And we'll see what happens. I ain't greedy. Just I know it's worth. And I need some money and I got bills. And maybe I am greedy. I got shit to take care of. Brock, don't play with me because I straight block your ass and I do not have the time and you've done it before. Don't play with me. Yeah, and then I'm salty because Poshmark, I'm reading uh, Heather's comment, new Posh has got me really loving eBay. Like now when you, like I used to be able to like sell things for a certain amount and then like if I sent out an offer, I know I'd still be in the over $10 range. Um... I don't know. Somebody else told me that like meant something else or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> train of thought. I I don't know where she went. I don't train of thought. Oh, just like when you now I have to have like a new amount for when I send out an offer because they raised the damn shipping. But what can you do? It's going to go up every year. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. <laughs> Sue, I didn't know you were here. Hi. <clears throat> Oh, and thank you, Ashley. I will take that into mind. I never, that maternity, I'm, I don't know if my thrift store has a maternity section because I really don't see a lot of it. But I know a lot of people like try to sell their maternity clothes because they are really expensive. Um, I got these J. Crew pants. Uh, they're, they're size 20. I was about to respond to a text message. You guys probably heard it go off. They're size 27, toothpick, brown cropped corduroy basic cute um more pants these are ann taylor factory modern eight i have these same pants but i think in a zero petite and they're just like a straight leg crop pant they have a like already so hopefully they sell Velvet, Talbot size 10, black, boot cut, pants, wide leg boys. These get listed for 25. If they were like skinny leg, I would probably list them for like 35. But since they're signature boot cut boys, they're getting listed for 25. Uh, these are Joe's jeans, which are, thank you, Sue. These are Joe's jeans, which are, I know, like, the price gets up there from what I remember from Clothes Matter. Um, Here goes the tag. Because I used to get Joe's jeans and Joe Fresh mixed up. 
Damn, if y'all could see the tag. It says Joe's. Damn it. It says Joe's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Joe's jeans. They're, uh, they were 80 cents. They're a brown, nice, slim leg pant. You know, no boot cut, no wide leg, no straight, nice slim leg, not skinny. But these probably retail for a good amount of money. They were 27 and they have a design number, so hopefully I can find what I love to call, and what it's called, a stock photo. I almost didn't get these just because the limited, mm, the limited has like the worst resale value. <laughs> like not ever, but just like it's so, I don't think anybody's checking for her. But they're, they're nice pants. They're a red and black metallic, like, print. They're, like, nice, you know. I'm going to an event. I got on some nice black heels, you know, or maybe a nice a nice loafer with a little, a little heel. Pants. Nice little black blouse. But we'll see how they do. They'll get listed for 25. These are kind of faded, but they're cute. They're Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 12. And they're, uh, I couldn't leave them there. They're so cute. If they fit me, I'd keep them. They're green and uh, navy. Straight leg, straight leg, plaid pant. I do not do jean locks. I was thinking about starting to do tie locks, but then I was like, uh, mm, don't really want to. But I don't know what else I could do in a... Uh, lots I would like and then I thought like oh I get so many dresses and skirts and different things like I could do like a bundle of the same skirt size and like do like little style things I was like mm, no I need to work on my consistency and just working in general before I be trying to do extra shit because that's how I mess up and I really don't be wanting to do it anyways I have a pile of skirts here. Hello, Nani next. This pile of skirts. Um, this is Carmen, Carmen Mark Valvo. You guys can't really see that tag. But it's a green and black pounds tooth, like bodycon skirt. Oh, here go some jeans. I think these are old navy. Nope, these are Talbots. They're flawless five pocket jean. I have a lot of their flawless five pocket corduroys. Uh, these are a 10 petite. Nice jean. I just rubbed the pant up against my lip. Ugh. Yeah, that's how I am. I'm like, if you want, if you're interested in more than one pair of pants or to skirts or ties or anything, put them in a bundle. Oh, I got this coat for myself. It's by 5'4". Unless that's a good brand, then I'll sell it. But it's like a nice little blue coat. I don't ever wear any of my coats zipped up. I don't know if anybody else can relate. But if I buy a coat, I don't plan on ever zipping it up. Ever. Ever in life. I don't know why. I just don't zip up my coats. Um... And I can zip this up because it's a large and I'm bigger than a large. Um, but she's cute. I don't know if the brand is anything 5'4", but if it is, I'll sell her. But if she's not, she'll go on my coat rack and I'll keep her in rotation. Um, What's the weather like? Let's see. Like I wore like a regular jean jacket outside. Um, but I think like. I don't know, like, Ohio weather's all over the place, and then, to me, like, a hoodie could be a coat, you know, because I'm, like, used to it. It's 37 degrees here, so I, I don't know how that pales in comparison to other places. Let me text her back real quick. Sorry, y'all. My bad, y'all. I'm so sorry. Lo siento mucho. 
I've been teaching myself Spanish. A lot of you guys know that. And I'm on like an 80 day streak. I'm trying to be fluent by the end of the year. That's one of my goals. I feel so unproductive, like not learning anything. And I graduated in 2017 and I don't plan on going back to college. So it's like, at least I could teach myself something. You feel me? Thank you, Sue. Uh, this is uh, Seven for All Mankind. So I guess I got two pairs, both 80 cents. And these are a blue skinny corduroy. These are much better, actually, than the other pants. And I have no doubt in my heart that they will sell for more. Uh, I got this cute little skirt. It's loft. It's an older tag. But I found out that there is... Um, I got an Outback red skirt last week that has this button detail. And I was like, are there double-breasted uh, skirts? And I Googled it, and there are double-breasted skirts. That's what they call this. So cute little double-breasted skirt. Um, I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo. You can do it for free, but you get, like, five hearts every so many hours. And once you, like, start messing up, they take your hearts away. Um, and they had a New Year's Eve sale. And I paid, like, it was, like, excuse me, $65 instead of, like, $165 for a year subscription. So I have unlimited hearts. And they have, like, stories on there. Like, today I read this story about this lady and her granddaughter. And they were packing up boxes to move. And she told her granddaughter, she was showing her this mask, this famous mask of a bank robber. And she was like, Grandma, were you the bank robber? And she was like, no, your grandpa was. I used to drive the skate car. And I'm just like, this is crazy that like, I can read this. Like, I'm understanding all of this. Like, it's fun, though, also. Just like, I don't know, learn shit. Be productive. <laughs> I tried... Uh, I tried French because I was like really cool with this girl. Her first language is French. Me and her really don't talk all like that no more. Um, but it's just not, it's not Spanish. Espanol is muy bonito. You feel me? Tu sabes, you know? Because she's cute. I love Spanish. She's that girl. Um, this is Ann Taylor, size 8 petite. Cute little skirt. This is... It, it's like, it's houndstooth, but it's like a crazy kind of distorted houndstooth. I didn't realize that until now. But this could pass as like a houndstooth. Um, got this long, long pile, large pile. Forever 21, cute little skirt, pink corduroy, lace up, A-line. And this, was actually surprised to see this there. New with tag Sam Edelman skirt, and they had it priced at eight dollars, and it retails for one twenty nine. Uh, so I got it for eighty cents. It has the style number. It'll probably get listed at like thirty five dollars, unless comps are like super good or something like that. But realistically, oh, is that? No, I'm pretty. So it has a front slit. Okay. It has this mesh detail on the back, but the tag is like over here. But I guess they couldn't put it right here. Okay. She's a pencil skirt with a high front slit and a mesh detail in the back. I got like five items left. I got like a lot of good stuff, I feel like, this time. I think I always get good stuff. But sometimes I bring home more bullshit um, than I would like to. And I feel like this time I kept the bullshit at a minimum. Uh, I got this. There's like two aisles of dresses. And I only went down one of them because I'm just like, you know, by the time I go down this one, somebody else could have hit so many other sections. And I don't just want to leave here with a bunch of dresses. So I only went down one side, and then right before I left, I went down the other one, and I found this. Um, it's a J. Crew dress, and it's 100% silk, and it's navy blue. It has an empire waist, but just like a 
Nice little classy thing. Oh, this skirt's so cute. I got a decent um, amount of uh, new with tags, too. Like, I'm, like, over here looking at all these tags. This is Delia's new with tags. Oh, I, I didn't look at the retail price. It only retail for $28. i will probably cut that $28 off and list this for $25. Holy find a stock photo. It's a 7-8 because Delia's is Junior's. Um, but I'm going to list this under like a woman's small probably. And it's just so orange. There goes the other button. Orange corduroy mini skirt. New with tags. Oh, here go the old navy pants. I don't think I've ever sold any old navy jeans. These are super skinny rock stars. Figured why not give them a try. Cute little skirt. Ann Taylor, eight petite print. I really like this print. Oh, thank you, Erica. That's nice. Um, Long Beach is in California, correct? I would come to uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, and I'll probably go to Posh Fest this year. Um, or I don't know if I'll go to Posh Fest. I might. Like, me and Olivia were talking about just buying a ticket. Like, not, bu like, buying a ticket to the party. Like, the Saturday night party. And just, like, staying in a hotel in the area and just, like, having a vacation instead of paying to, you know, like, sit at the conference. Like, I don't even think we went. I don't even think we went Saturday. We went, like, half a Saturday. Um, Because the ticket price is up there. But that Saturday night party girl, she's fun. I mean, everybody. It is so, I don't know, it's just different being inside, like, the, like the reseller community because it's, of course, if you're not in it, you don't know what's going on. But, like, walking through Posh Fest and having people come up to me is, like, so just, like, I don't know, out of control to me still. I guess my hauls um, are keeping me afloat because I don't be on anything else at all. Oh, Long Beach is in L.A.? Wow, look at me. Yeah, I would definitely come to L.A. I'm supposed to go... This year, we're supposed to go to Chicago, and um, I think Denver, and then wherever Posh Fest is, and then I'll probably go somewhere in the summer. <laughs> I really like traveling. <laughs> I was thinking about, like, last year, I went to I went to San Diego, I went to El Paso, and I went to um, Phoenix, yeah, but, like, everywhere I at least have to travel... I at least have to travel once a year because of Posh Fest. I don't know what I'm going to... Well, me and me and Devin are going to see his dad. And then I'll probably... Um, uh, look. Look at that. Not trained. Ooh. Dang. The mess around, got your messages hidden. Um, I'll probably, uh, I know I want to meet up with Amanda. She brought it up, I think, my last live. But I wouldn't mind, like, doing a day and, like, meeting at a Starbucks or something. I don't know. That'd be fun. This is cute. No, not a Starbucks. Let's go somewhere else. Like a Chinese buffet or something. <laughs> this is a plaid A-line skirt. We're not going to Starbucks. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I would definitely have a meet up at a Chinese buffet. <laughs> That's so out of control, but it's very odd character. <laughs> this is the limited. She's cute. We don't know what she's going to sell for. <laughs> Probably like $10 to $15, but That's okay cuz I paid 80 cents. Um, and this is the last item that I have for you guys. It is a blue belted, has a cute little ruched thigh detail, sleeveless, um, and tailor dress. 
I was trying to think of the brand. Ann Taylor, size 8. I was trying to look at these armpits to see if it was any damage. And it looks like somebody may be a little sweaty and kind of blew these armpits out. Um, but I'm just going to have to take a baby wipe to them um, and disclose. It was still 80 cents, but... It's always sad when you see a a dusty armpit hole. Oh, I'm tired. Are you guys tired? That is my haul. 54 items for $74, I think. And they will be listed all this week. 20 of them are already listed. If you're interested in anything, let me know. I will give you the hookup. Uh, we can do Poshmark. We could do... PayPal, we could do Venmo, we could do Zelle, we could do Cash App, we could do Bitcoin, anything. But like dead ass, if you're interested in anything, just like let me know and I could PayPal invoice you. Um, I'm tired, I'm like trying to put all this shit in this bag. Yeah, a very dusty armpit on that dress. Hi, Debbie. Hmm. You came at the end of my haul. It'll be processed if you want to rewatch it. Uh, oh, hi, Gabriella. Yeah, Long Beach would be fun. San Diego was fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, go back to sleep, JoJo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, Chinese buffet. I really want to go to the Chinese buffet. We have one. It's probably like 15 minutes from here. <sighs> and I'm just thinking about it. Oh, De here goes Debbie asking me if there was any plus size. Oh, do I have to let you down? I had a couple items. I have a size 24 new with tags retail $80 Wayne Bryant dress if you're interested. Um, I have a list for 50, but I'll give it to you way cheaper than that. Um, in the city chic size 20, like semi sheer zip front eyelash lace red top. That's a size 20. Ooh, my stomach is growling. Um, I've never been to Vegas. I've been to their airport and was very shocked to find out that there were um, slot machines, even in their airport. But I guess they're in the gas stations. They're everywhere. Thank you, Debbie. I love you, too. If you're interested in anything, let me know. I'll give you the dealios. Um, I'm going to eat my little snack. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, I don't know. I have to do some cross list things, and that's about it. I already listed 20 items and I already got new listings up to um, Mercari and eBay. So I'm like done for the day. The unbeatable combo. Unbeatable. Good night, you guys. Make good choices. Don't work too hard. And this is so good. I will see you guys next Monday. Good night, everybody.